In this lesson, we will assess the threat of collision using the conjunction analysis tool, also known as the advanced cat tool. The first thing we will do is create the scenario. I will call the scenario advanced cat and leave the default times. My scenario will be 24 hours. Before I insert any objects, I want to update the satellite database. So I'll go to the Utilities Data Update tool, and I want to update the satellite databases so that I have the most recent TLE data. So when I have that selected, I can select Update Now. And when the file has been updated, I can hit Apply and OK. I will insert a satellite from the standard object database to be my primary object. This will be the satellite that I am most interested in. I will look at Worldview 2, an Earth imaging satellite, and I want my file source to be from the standard object database. So I'm going to select World View 2 and hit Insert. With the satellite inserted into my scenario, I can take a look at it. So along with the ephemeris data of the satellite, I have also been able to insert in the payload information, so the sensors, as well as the model information for this satellite. I can now insert the advanced cat tool and I will use the define properties method. Here I can define a threshold and this threshold is the distance between the primary and secondary error ellipsoids which are defined down here. The error ellipsoid is defined by the tangential, cross-track, and normal components. I will define my primary object to be my Worldview 2 satellite, and my secondary object is going to be all the satellites in the STK all TLE file, which includes all the satellites in the satellite database that we just updated. So after I have those defined, I'm going to click Compute, and then OK. Now I want to refresh my window, and I can take a look at the Advanced Cat tool. So along with visually showing us the error ellipsoid, we can also generate reports with additional information. So I can right click on the Advanced Cat tool and go to Reports and Graph Manager. And for this object, I can look at the closest approach by min separation and generate that report. At the top of this report, we can see information about the objects that we're looking at and comparing it to other objects that may be in the vicinity. We can also see the start and stop times for the first conjunctions, their min separation, and their min range. The min separation is defined by that error ellipsoid and threshold that we had set. And we can look at this first conjunction within our scenario as well. We can step through and see when our satellite's ellipsoid intersects with another satellite's ellipsoid. Also within the report, we can see the object name and its SSC number as well if we wanted to insert that satellite or do additional analysis.